the successful model minority within the United States, it is easy to forget the discrimination they face every day within the employment industry. Good afternoon. My name is Angela Boone, and today I'll be regarding the question, to what extent does the Asian race face employment inequality in the present-day United States workforce regarding promotions to senior management positions? From statistics like these from the Pew Research Center, it is easy for people to say that Asians do not experience discrimination in the employment industry, as can be shown by the first graph that shows that Asians have a higher percentage of high education than the general population, as well as a high medium household income. But this can be easily disproven by the Equal Employment Opportunities Commission that has taken a poll of five major companies within the United States, being Google, HP, Intel, LinkedIn, and Yahoo. This poll shows that while Asians make up about 27% of, of the employees within such companies, they only make up about 14% of the, of the executives in such companies. This is compared to the 62% of white individuals that make up such companies and the 80% of individuals that make up such executive, executives. This has led to the phenomenon called the bamboo ceiling. The bamboo ceiling is defined by NPR as the barriers some Asian American professionals believe they face when trying to reach leadership roles in the workplace. The bamboo ceiling has been analyzed in two major ways. The first way the bamboo ceiling has been analyzed is culturally, and where um, they blame the Asian culture for not, provide, for not being systematically able to provide a leader for the Asian people. Um, this is supported by Suzanne Adams in Forbes magazine, as she states, that Asians tend to prioritize sacrificing for the future, harmony, and field beauty above other leadership skills that American companies prefer. In this article, Wesley Yang also states, it's simple cultural observation to say that a group whose education has historically focused on rote memorization and pumping the iron of math is, on aggregate, unlikely to yield many people inclined to challenge authority or break with inherited ways of doing things. Yet, a major contradiction appears when analyzing work ethic. The American people truly believe in work ethic as can be proven by Nixon's Labor Day Address, which states, the competitive spirit goes by many names. Most simply and directly, it is called the work ethic. That work ethic is why Americans are considered an industrious, purposeful people. Yet, Asians also truly believe in work ethic, as can be shown by the 93% of Asian Americans that believe that their country of origin is very hardworking, as well as the fact that a higher percentage of Asians than the general population believe that hard work can lead to success. Due to this, how is it their culture that has led them to reach a ceiling when trying to reach senior management positions within such companies? Therefore, the second way of analyzing the bamboo ceiling is more preferable as it states that it is um, society's innate assumptions that have led to why Asians do not receive leadership positions. These innate assumptions include the fact that, a that Asians are portrayed more submissively as well as less self-assertively within the media. This also goes alongside the fact that America has an increasing fear of immigrants taking the jobs of white workers. These fears are connected with the article A World Without Work by the, from The Atlantic that states that technology may be replacing enough jobs <coughs> that it challenges the availability of work. This fear is shown in the American people as a fear of something that is foreign. In a world without work, this fear is connected to technology and the fact that technology is taking over jobs of white workers. But this connects to the issue that I'm, that I'm bringing up as um, white workers also have a fear of different cultures taking upon the jobs that they claim are theirs. But no matter how the bamboo ceiling is analyzed, there's still an issue to be solved. Therefore, the first solution that is the most obvious is affirmative action. This is as affirmative action is currently used today. Affirmative action is defined by Merriam-Webster Dictionary as an active effort to improve the employment or educational opportunities of members or minority groups and women. The benefits of affirmative action are that it provides diversity within the workplace, as well as gives different, as well as it gives different ideas and different cultures for the individuals within the workplace. The downside to this is that there are 
two major implications to affirmative action. The first implication is reverse racism, which is represented here by this cartoon. Reverse racism gives a disadvantage to, it penalizes the historically dominant group, being white Americans. This is as it lets those from disadvantaged races obtain higher positions than those who are more qualified from the historically dominant group. The second major implication is stigmatization. Stigmatization allows citizens of minority groups who are employed to be questioned if whether they receive their position merely on the color of their skin or for the actual merit of their work. Therefore, as there are many implications to this issue, a more preferable solution would be organizations like LEAP, or the Leadership Education for American for Asian Pacifics. Yang from the previous article of Forest Magazine describes organizations like LEAP as teaching Asian students how to retain their values while speaking up at meetings and conveying accomplishments. In other words, presenting themselves outwardly as leadership material. Therefore, the benefits of such an organization would be that it increases the leadership skills of Asian Americans, as well as it provides a, a self-improvement route instead of compensation for discrimination like affirmative action does. The only implication of organizations like LEAP are that they must be actively seeked out by Asian Americans that want to improve their leadership skills. Therefore, to provide an even more effective solution, I propose a collaboration between major companies that were previously mentioned in my presentation, being Google, Yahoo, HP, Intel, and LinkedIn, with organizations such as LEAP. This would not only allow for a larger part of the workforce to be presented with organizations and opportunities such as LEAP, but it would allow, it would allow change to occur more rapidly within the workforce, as more people would have the knowledge of such organizations such as LEAP, and therefore they would have more knowledge on the issues that are actually occurring within our society. Therefore, as can be shown by my presentation, there are maybe many solutions to the issues regarding Asians becoming senior management, obtaining senior management positions. Yet, I believe this solution to be the best. Thank you. Any questions? Yep. Okay, uh, first question. Was there evidence that you gathered that you didn't use? Am I allowed to think about this before I answer? Of course. Okay. There'll be no thinking. Okay, so um, one of the major things that I would have liked to, the, the information that I gathered, is I had a source from the Bureau of uh, Statistics that, the Census Bureau of Statistics, that um, shows the differentiation between different Asian ethnicities and it breaks it down basically into the different types of, the, sorry, the different countries of origin of Asians and how personally they are affected. As um, in my presentation, I grouped Asians together as a whole race, but I would have liked to break it down more if I had more time and use that information. All right, and last question I have for you. Um, if you had more time, what additional research would you do on this particular issue? organizations um, in association with LEAP because I did most of my research on um, this particular organization because it was the most profound and it was the most popular um, organization that does such a thing. So if I had more time, I would like to research more into other organizations that do things like this and how they could be effectively used uh, in pairing with companies. Great job.